Well, hello there, my lovely Lego addicts. The first video in the new Lego room. Yes, it is a bit trippy. It is literally just the same room, just flipped, but <laughs> welcome. Also, it's been quite the time since I last did a review and this set really, really warranted it because I have a lot of thoughts on this set. So I was very kindly gifted the set for my birthday, not very long ago. I obviously really, really wanted it. As you know, if you've been a long time viewer, I have a Hogsmeade area in my city. Well, not in my city, like in my Calyx display unit behind me. And I've had a space for like the Shrieking Shack to sit for a long time. I was very, very excited when we heard that this was coming out. I also think that it looked really great in the pictures, but the fact that it was more expensive than the two Hogsmeade buildings, even though it was just the one building, made me a little bit uncomfortable because realistically, I'm a buildings person. Like that is the highlight of this set for me. I'm not very fussed about this Whomping Willow thing, which admittedly, I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but like, could have done without, like, it, it didn't need to be there for me. So the building, there's only one building, and it was more expensive than the Hogsmeade set. So let's go into what the set actually is and my thoughts on it. When you first start building the set, you start by building the new designed Whomping Willow and this cool, like, changeable unit. A huge throwback to the 2004 version, which kind of came with this really cool, like, shed that you could put them in and then you could like change them in there. And I'm gonna have to be honest, this is not as cool as the chain shed. The chain shed is like the best thing. It doesn't feel like a Lego product at all. Like it's really not very Lego related, but it's really fun to play with. I had it on a live stream and yeah, it's just really fun. This is still very effective though. I really like the little like addition of like, oh, it's cloudy. Oh no, the moon came out, the, the werewolf was out. The figure of the werewolf as well is obviously another highlight of the set. Like he's really, really cool. Like I love that they've used those fawn legs again to make him more like beastly. The head is very cool. I found him terrifying in the movies as a kid. Absolutely terrified of it. Yeah, it's cool to see like a more accurate figure of that wolf rather than just the wolf head, which we previously saw in the other one. I also really like that the Lupin figure that you get in the set has a similar colour suit on as that the uh, werewolf goes into, so that's pretty fun. Um, overall, I think the figures in the set are actually really good. So Rima's Lupin is very, very like shabby, but like looks fantastic. His face printing is just wonderful. Um, I just really like how he comes together. I like all the little patches and things. And then we also have the new uh, Sirius Black, which has a new face print, as well as Hermione, Ron and Harry, which is a very like basic trio with the with the Prisoner of Azkaban clothes. Obviously Hermione isn't wearing her time turner in this set because it's before she actually uses it. In my live stream I did a super quick comparison to the small set that series came in way back in 2018 I think with the Dementals and actually in that set we do see series have leg printing whereas in this set we unfortunately do not see that. Though I think the printing on the torso is actually better and the face print is definitely better. I am a bit sad that we don't get leg printing. The only person that does have leg print, even though it's not hugely obvious, is Wormtail. So he has like a pinstriped suit that's seen better days. And it's, I think, highlighted with like medium nougat or dark orange, actually, sorry. Um, so actually it's really not very clear that there is leg printing on his legs. But there is, so yay, that's a good thing. Also, in comparison to the previous Whomping Willow that we have seen in one of the Hogwarts um, expansions, this Whomping Willow is definitely more tree-like. I definitely think this is way more exciting. There's a really cool new dark green piece here that like the stem piece that looks beautiful. I think it's like way more menacing. Um, like, I think this is an overall better tree design. It's way more green. So if you actually look at the older version, there is a lot of like light bluish gray going on for connectors. This one just feels more tree-like. It's, it's just better, <laughs> I've decided. Yes, I did. I said I didn't need it, but as a tree, the design is good and I think they've done a great job. The only sad thing is because it's at an angle, yes, this feels like way they all go down into the Shrieking Shack, but you can't actually put minifigures in, which is a bit of a shame, which they did do for the other older version. Um, but I do quite like the angle. I think it makes it more interesting. But yeah, it's a quite a fun it's quite a fun feature. Um, ben tried it out on the live stream. It's, uh, it's Ben proof, you know, it's crankable, so all good. You just start the whole build with this little like fence thing, which I think is going to be useful for when I put it in my Hogsmeade, but overall not the most exciting. It has, it uses stickers for those um, wood pieces, but overall at least I guess it kind of makes it feel like an entrance to it. So it's a nice little addition, but I don't know, I could have done without it. I don't think I would have been like, oh, I 
really miss the fence when I bought it otherwise. And then we go into the building. And actually, obviously this is the star of the show, but it's actually the star of the show. It's really, really nice. So look at the angle on it, which is just so fantastic. I think it's obviously not actually been that long since I built the 2004 version of this and that had a lot of things lacking. I felt like the interiors are super random, like the colors in it were a bit like eh. This fixes all of those issues. It adds so much of the really cool snow details. Love all of these printed one by four um, wooden detailing. This is um, a sticker, but there are some really just nice details. I really, really love it. My only major complaint is this door sticker. I hate door stickers. I just for always, I just always seem to get them wrong. That is totally like a thing for me though, because I don't know, maybe you're really good at them, but yeah, door stickers, I, I despair. But overall, I honestly love this building so much, especially the angle of it. It's actually really cool how that's created. Let me see if I can show you. So it's actually created by these two turntable plates that you built into the front, uh, the bottom level, which is actually a pretty straight build. And then you have these two plates and then you attach them on at an angle. And actually, even though when you're building it, it feels like you're building two straight pieces, when you attach them at that angle, it's really very effective and it looks really, really cool. Also, I really like the um, chimney detail, I think it's awesome. I like that they added some stickers on it. I'm honestly a huge, huge fan of this. I really, really adore like how it looks and the snow detail and it feels like a proper Shrieking Shack haunted house. And then I think the snow being like a bit random at the top also adds to the, the way that the angles feel. And then we go into the interiors, which is again a triumph in my opinion. Again, a triumph in my opinion. My main criticism of the 2004 set is the interiors just felt really, really random. The colours didn't match, it just didn't look very good. And actually this whole thing, the interiors are awesome. And also not only are they awesome, they come in fantastic colours. They're such affle colours, so dark orange, dark green like um some sand green some dark green some black you know it's just fantastic and i really love the little two detailed pictures on there i love all of the you know cool features yes there is a little trap door that you can open here i don't know i didn't need that per se but it's fun to have a bit of playability to it but honestly all of this detailing is just amazing really really adore it and actually i think if you can get this for a really good deal, it's just a fantastic parts pack as well if you're an Apple because there's just a really good amount of colours that you could use for other builds. So honestly, I absolutely adore this Shrieking Shack. I think it's improved in every way possible from the 2004 version. It's a triumph. I'm so, so glad that they tackled this and they tackled it in such an amazing way. It still feels really true to the whole Harry Potter line. Um, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, breaking the grade. It feels like it's the right like size and stuff. But within their constraints of, you know, deciding that they set up for themselves, they've done an awesome job. It's just beautiful. Even if you're not into Harry Potter, I'm sure you could mock this with like some other features into like a, just a haunted house. It really just has that haunted house feel perfectly. And with Halloween coming up, this is, this is your boy. <laughs> you need this. So yeah, honestly, I just couldn't wait to talk to you about it because I've been very 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 excited about it. So what I'll do now is I'll get my Hogsmeade out from the cupboard and place it so you kind of see what it's compared to it. I will do a lot of work, you know, what I'm going to be placing it as is not the final form. I want to do a lot of like little hill work but I just want to place it within the Hogsmeade area just so you can kind of see how they compare. So this is the village as it is right now. Obviously I have my mocked by Ben Bill's Lego um, Zonkos as well. And then we've got the Shrieking Shack, which is gonna roughly sit here. As I said, I'm gonna be placing it on a hill there because, you know, I feel like it's more authentic. So if you just put it in a village like this, I think it looks really cool. It's very haunted. Obviously in an, in an ideal world, I'm gonna be placing it on a little hill. I don't know how tall I can make it because it's in my calyx, but I wanted to sit a bit taller, or like a little bit higher than everything else. But overall, I think it looks awesome. It definitely kind of finishes off this little village that I've got here and yeah I'm really really excited to be adding it to my Hogsmeade so I will definitely be showing you updates on that so stay tuned for my city updates. Alrighty well I hope you liked hearing my thoughts on this honestly I was very very excited when I built this I had to talk to you about it I nearly did just like a review on the live stream because I was like oh my god 
so many thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like this channel. Honestly, everything helps. If you do want to do a little bit more to support me, there is always the option to become a member and support me directly. Um, I appreciate all you wonderful people and I will be back with you very soon because I have about a list of 11 videos that I need to make for you that I want to show you. So I'll see you very soon. And if you do want to join one of my live streams, I tend to be live at 7.30pm UK time on Wednesdays. So maybe see you there. Have a fantastic rest of the day, guys. Bye. How do?